Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to react to Heart Evangelista's closet tour. Before that, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Anjali. And if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, thank you very much for always watching my videos, for the continuous support. I really appreciate it. So I decided to react Heart Evangelista's closet tour because a lot of people have been reacting to this video. As a Filipino, feel like it's my responsibility to react to this video. I don't know why. Maybe because I love bags and I love her. Maybe that, yeah. <laughs> well, her lifestyle is every woman's dream. Like, you girls will be very, if you don't know heart, you will be amazed of her collection, bag collection. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, so Hardy Evangelista is a fa is a famous celebrity in the Philippines. She comes from old money, but she's been working really hard since she was very young as an actress. She's still an actress, and but she is now married to Chis Escudero, which is the governor of Sorsogon, which is a province in the Philippines. But yeah, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start with the video. Hi guys, so one of my most requested videos would be to take you on a tour in my walk-in closet. So this is what we're going to do right now. I did one before for a magazine, but it wasn't as detailed and as intense as now. Okay, did you guys see it? So she has, it looks like she has, what do you call that? Like a security passcode? Panda, come on. So... And it's just calling for Panda, which is her favorite dog. She has a lot of dogs and she loves um, adapting, which I like about her. She doesn't buy dogs, she adopts. And I would really recommend that to a lot of people who are into dogs or, yeah. I think there's a lot of dogs out there that needs, you know, saving. So I guess adopting is the best option. If you guys really wanna have a dog, don't buy, just adopt. I don't have a dog, but <laughs> I just I just know that you should not buy. Hey, Pan. Hey, so Panda knows. This is my walking closet. Oh my god! I chose to make the carpet pink because I saw it in a Gucci store and I thought it was so cute. What do you guys think about the stairs? It's amazing. Oh my god! It looks so fancy, and I've never seen like stairs like this like this is oh my god it is shouting and plus it's elegance much much more safer if there's a carpet so you don't slide the handle right here is very special because this is actually from an old house you can see i had my scarves my hermes scarves framed i think that's a brilliant idea most of yeah, so I've learned that before too. I know, I know a lot about her already. So she likes um, framing her Hermes scarves. And that's a really, a really cool idea actually. actually. Gifts from like my birthday or Christmas. And since I don't really use them, I decided to put them on my walls. Oh, oh my God, that's my dream. I wish I have friends that will, you know, gift me Hermes scarves. Oh my god. Alright guys, welcome to my walk-in closet. There you go. <laughs> Excited. So here we are once again. I like to keep all my blazers and the things that I wear for every day in this part. I just put it all together because sometimes it gets confusing. White, I just think it's my, my uniform, so in case I'm lazy to think of patterns on patterns or put things together, my go-to outfit would be all white. I hate this, I really do. My favorite would be this top. I love Mark Bumgarner, he is a good friend. And I think what's nice about Okay, um, I think their best friends, Mark Berg, Wait, what did you say? Bergumner? Bergumner? Oh my god, I feel like I'm butchering his name. But he's a famous designer in the Philippines. He miss that. You know, it's not super pricey and it's very 
dressed, pristine, and it matches with just jeans, so I love this top. I also am a sucker for anything lace, white lace. I just think it's so like neat looking and fresh, especially here in the Philippines. We have such a humid weather. It's nice to be, you know, looking fresh and... Oh my God, speaking of humid, it is really, she's not joking when she said it's humid in the Philippines. It's very hot and humid. Oh my God, I'm telling you guys, if you visit Philippines, make sure to, that you are emotionally, physically, mentally ready for that. But it's beautiful in the Philippines. We have a lot of beaches, um, mountains, nature. If you love nature, Philippines is a go-to. Go you should put it as your number one destination on your bucket list. You will not regret it. I was in Palawan with my hubby like two weeks, I mean two. Two years ago, I guess, and we definitely enjoyed it, despite of like the humidity and the t hot temperature and the hot weather. What temperature? Um, we really enjoyed it. When it's from the dry clean, I just like to keep it this way. Okay, so this is also another. But how long is this? It's 20 minutes. You probably have to skip this part. And over down here, we have my shoes. So my rubber shoes. I love those. Manolo. Okay, so here, this is actually where I put all my clothes, the ones that I haven't really used or the ones that I don't want to forget about. Sometimes you forget, so you put everything here, so I... That's really true though. Like, even though I don't have like as much as clothes as she has, I keep forgetting that I, like, I have clothes that I haven't worn yet. It's, it's hard to remember if you can't see your clothes. So you, I think it's this really a good idea. You have to hang it where you can see them. I have that makes sense. nice stuff that I ordered like last year, Panaman Cha. But I like this really beautiful white suit from Prabal Gurong. And from it's where, so beautiful. Where? I just have to find the right event to wear it. And you know what's important? You have to have a dehumidifier here in the room. And here I have my perfume. Someone once told me that, you know, in our country it's humid, it's hot, so sometimes, you know, your perfume expires right away. So you need to put it inside a ref. But since it's, you know, it doesn't really look nice to have a ref, hopefully they last forever. When you get home to this disaster, Oh no! How did this happen? My shelves keep falling. This is horrible. What happened? Those are expensive perfumes. And here, my favorite area. Wow, that's, my shoes. That's a lot of shoes, and most of these shoes are nudes. So I've been collecting. Actually, most of the stuff that you see here didn't just happen overnight. It's an accumulation of 21 years of collecting. I've always collected shoes. Why? So when did you start collecting her shoes? 21 years. How old is she now? I'm assuming just like 33, 35 maybe? So 21 years. Let's see. But according to Google, Hardy Van is, I'm, I'm right. She's 35 years old. So she started collecting, um, let's see, 35 minus 21. Since she was 14 years old, oh my God. Because I'm 5'2". There's nothing wrong with being 5'2", but I'm just saying is I love... There's definitely nothing wrong with 5'2". <laughs> of wearing high heels. I love nudes. Why do I love nudes? Because it gives the illusion that you look taller. Um, it matches everything. So I like to invest on nudes like Louboutins. They're a little pricey, but I mean, you can wear it all the time to the grocery. Why not? You can wear it with anything. It matches everything, casual, formal. This is my Louboutin ones. I've used this a couple of times. It's super comfy. No, seriously, it is without Emla. So I love that. Um, this is also cute. It's very comfy. Oh my God, I can't even wear like two inches heels. I can't. And look at the Cartier. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Cartier, Cartier. Bracelets that she's wearing. She has like one, two, three, four. 
four maybe on the the right hand. Um, more shoes, more shoes. The fairies okay. that I went How to in Paris. It's a vintage Let's move print to of the Hermes. Let's move to the bags. See, maybe this is a good place to start. There you go. We'll start from the lower part. I have my scarves and my twillies over here. So I keep them here. Yeah, so I love twillies, I love scarves. And I think because people know that I love twillies and scarves, every time it's my birthday and Christmas, they just keep giving me, so thank you so much. Oh yeah, and a little sneak peek. This is actually my painting for LMX Camiseta. Oh yeah, she paints too, actually. She is very artistic. She paints, um, sometimes she paints her bags, her mess bags. That's insane, right? But I love her paintings. She is very talented. Uh, we decided to come out with my own line of silk scarves with my paintings. So another amazing idea. Put it in a frame and give it for Christmas, my friends. You know what you're getting for Christmas. Okay, so I have my clutch bags here. Of course, I have my favorite Sequoia bags. I also have these amazing local bags. This is from Farah Abu. And this is... Ooh. Okay, what I love about her is she always support local brands. Like, for example, when she goes to Source of Gone, she always come and like she always visits like the local stores there and buy something from there and she always put it on her social media so everyone knows that she is supporting the local brands so it's giving the local brands a free advertisement from a famous celebrity so thank you hard for doing that this is also a favorite so these clutch bags are from vintage city I love that, especially when you're attending like a beach wedding or what. And my classics, my Chanel bags. This was given to me by my mom a long, long time ago. And this one I love also. So I have my Chanel bags. This is also love. And over up here, it's just like all the bags, like for traveling, all the big bags. This is also a nice bag. This was my mom's actually. She had it way before me, and it's vintage. It's beautiful, they don't have it anymore, so. When is she getting to the Hermes collection? <laughs> I had to fix that before. I'm getting excited. It's got like really bad stuff on it. And you have the Sequoia bag, and over here, I'm going to share a little bit, just a little bit, of my love for Hermes bags. I have my painted finally. bags, so. Finally, finally. There you go. Before I started to paint for other people, I actually had to paint for myself because I needed to make sure that it was going to work. See? She paints on her Hermes bag. But it's amazing though. I love the design. But I don't think so. I guess if it's if I will buy buy an Hermes bag, I will be very scared to paint on my Hermes bag, no matter how like artistic I am. But in her case, it's okay because she has a lot of bags, Hermes bags. <laughs> so let me get my first bag. This is actually the lizard skin bag that I was talking about during the Harper's Bazaar shoot. The oil just landed right here and right there. So hence the flower and the bird. But this is the bag that started everything for me. I love this bag. I also have this. This one I was just practicing on it. I'm gonna paint on that again. And if there is So it was an accident, it looks like. So there ha something happened, I guess, to her bag um, for this uh, orange Hermes bag. So she had to repair it by painting over the um, whatever happened on that leather. So I guess it's where she started painting on her mess. That's actually cool. And she gets a lot of um, clients from her call celebrities to get their Hermes bags painted. Any bag that I would save if there's a fire, definitely my Himalayan. Oh, that is Himala Himalayan, 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 Himalayan Hermes bag is the most expensive bag in the world, I think. Like, it's very expensive. 
that's why she's saying that she if she has to if there's a fire she has to save this bag i understand why it costs a lot i do not know how i can buy this again but it was a good investment so eventually if my daughter they want to auction the bag when i'm 102 and i'm not here anymore this is the bag this is also very cute this is from purse bob it's a line that she made i love it because it dresses up your bag but it's just like a jacket so you could just put it like that so if it's raining or you raining yes <laughs> i'm just kidding no but you know if you want to protect your bag because you don't want that oil french fries thing to happen again this is what i like to put instead of putting it um inside a plastic bag but you know what i actually just bring like a really cute nylon bag uh, the one that you could roll up, you buy in the groceries, and I put it in my bags when I travel, and I think that's still the best way to protect your bag. You just dump it in there when it's raining, it's not bulky, but this is another cute way to dress up your bag. Over here is where I spend most of my time, because this is where I get ready. So I have my books and all these like, little trinkets and pictures of special people. Wait, is and that it for the bags? This is where I put all my makeup. I've given up on makeup kits actually. Okay, I'm really not We've into makeup, dial so I guess we can end this here. Because this is going to it is not that like, you know, like wow, her closet. Um, it's not, I didn't get that feeling, that, that wow feeling, that wow feeling. Because <laughs> I was kind of expecting more. But it's still like a lot of a lot of bags, a lot of Hermes bags, a lot of fancy things. I mean, I understand why a lot of girls, a lot of women, a lot of people are are jealous of her lifestyle, of what she has, because she has a lot, a decent amount of Hermes collection. So it's not the most extravagant closet, but it's definitely something that I will pray for to have <laughs> I really really love her um, closet definitely very classy it reflects her personality her style it's very elegant glamorous and fancy aren't they all the same thing I don't know what I'm saying anymore <laughs> anyway I guess that is it for this video. If you like this type of video, any reaction videos, if you have any suggestions, video suggestions, let me know. Comment down below and see you on my next video. Bye!